Hey guys, it's Liz Lizards. So today on my Killing It in College series, we're going to talk about seven amazing websites that can help you survive your way through college. If you want to check out the next episodes, I'll link them right up here. All right, so number one is going to be, of course, Google Calendar. This one's kind of obvious. Uh, if you're not organized, you're not going to remember your assignments, you're not going to remember to go to class, so Google Calendar is number one. Whenever I get my syllabuses at the beginning of the semester, I put all of my classes into Google Calendar, and then I put all the exam dates so that I'm not guessing or having to flip through papers to figure out when the exam is. Google Calendar helps you keep a regular schedule as well so that you're doing your studying, balancing it out with your partying and your eating and your sleeping and all that good stuff. Google Calendar is definitely my number one pick for websites. My second website for this list is going to be Habitica. Habitica is a really great website for making sure all of your tasks are getting completed. Habitica allows you to create a character which you can then use to level up by completing tasks. It has uh, several different areas on its site that include quests, you can do habits, daily tasks, and have a to-do list. For me, I personally use this to make sure that I'm getting all of my assignments done in a timely manner, and I'm also making sure that I take my vitamins, review for certain classes that need to be reviewed daily, and you can also add habits that need to be done on a regular basis that you reward yourself for doing. So like going to the gym, you get a special reward for going to the gym. And it makes it like a game so that it really helps you stay motivated for uh, doing all your assignments as well as taking care of yourself. Because that's just as important as getting all your schoolwork done. The third website is called Anki. This website is for classes that require the use of note cards. So anytime you have to memorize something. Anki is a spaced repetition software, which means that it uses the natural times that you forget about things to help reinforce the information in your mind. So once you add all your note cards into the software, you go through them and you rank how well you know each note card and based on that is how often it will give you back the note card so it might give it back to you in 10 minutes or the next day or in a couple weeks depending on how well you know it this way you can make sure that you're sinking in the information rather than cramming the night before website number four is chronometer i found out about chronometer from freely the banana girl actually and this is really important for making sure that you're staying healthy. Now, when you're in college, if you are not eating properly, you're undercarbed, you're not getting enough calories, you're eating crap, you're gonna feel like crap. And then you're not going to feel motivated to do your work. So Chronometer makes sure that you're meeting all of your nutritional needs and it helps you keep track of your weight over time so that you can stave off that freshman 15. Website number six is called Sleepy Time. Now, I know a lot of times it happens that you'll go out to a party with your friends, but you have class the next morning. So Sleepy Time helps you uh, wake up and go to bed at times that are ideal for getting the most out of your sleep. Because we sleep in cycles of three hours or 90 minutes, you can make sure that you're not waking up in the middle of a sleep cycle so that you'll wake up feeling refreshed even if you only got three hours of sleep the night before. Website number six is going to be your own school's website. Now, this one is something that maybe your school portal you might go through and it'll keep you updated, but sometimes you have to actually go onto your school's website to check for events, deadlines, when's the last drop date for your class, when are grades due, and if you look at this early in the semester, you can help plan so you know in two weeks is the last day to drop this class, how am I doing? The last one is going to be 
the marinara timer. Now, this is based off the Pomodoro technique, which is that you should give yourself breaks while you're studying. And the way it suggests is to take 25 minutes to study and then take a five minute break. And this is an automatic timer that goes for 25 minutes. It'll ding, you get your break, and then it'll ding again. And this really helps me stay on task. I like using this a lot better than using a sight blocker, such as cold turkey. Cold turkey might work better for some people. It completely blocks you from going on sites like Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, all that stuff, so that you stay on task. But I feel like if I'm going to procrastinate, I will still do it regardless, and I've ended up reading through Wikipedia articles to procrastinate. So Pomodoro is a lot better for me to use because I know that I'm going to be getting a break in 25 minutes. It's not that long of a time, and I can look forward to it while I'm studying. This helps teach you self-control rather than being forced into self-control. All right, so those were my top seven websites to do well in college. If you guys have any websites that you have found to be essential to your college success, please comment them below so that I can see them. I'm always looking for more things to help me out. I want to get those A's for striving. So please let me know below. If you'd like to see the next video in this series, I'll link it right here. The next video is going to be on study tips for doing well in college, getting those A's. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and comment. I always wanna hear your guys' opinions, and I'll see you next time.